One of my bugbears is opening an Excel workbook where the user has split panes set when they should have used freeze panes. To be fair, these settings are easily confused, so I thought I'd explain the difference. Freeze panes is used when you want to fix the top row or rows and or leftmost column or columns in place. It's important that you still have plenty of room to scroll through the remaining columns and rows. As you can see here, I've used freeze panes on row 1 and columns A through D. Whereas split panes is typically used when you have a lot of columns on the left or rows on the top that you want to remain visible and you can't freeze them all in one place and still have room to scroll through the columns to the right or the rows below. In this worksheet, split panes are on row 8 and column D. Notice there are two horizontal scroll bars that work independently and two vertical scroll bars that also work independently. Now because each pane is considered a separate view of the same sheet, if you scroll to the top or to the left or press Control Home, it will take you to the top left of the pane that you have selected. If I select this one here and Control Home, I now go to the very top left of all panes and you can see the data is repeated and that's what I find super annoying because I don't want to see the same data. This is why I prefer freeze panes. Now, in case you're wondering, you can't split panes and freeze panes at the same time. You'll find the freeze panes tools on the view tab of the ribbon. And in the window group, we have freeze panes. And here we can either freeze the top row or the first column. Or if we have a cell selected, we can freeze panes at the intersection. So here I have cell E2 selected. It's going to freeze row 1 and columns A through D. You can see there's a faint line where the panes are frozen. And now I can scroll down and in Excel 365 I can hold down Control and Shift and scroll to the left and right using my mouse wheel. You can see most importantly that the top row and columns A to D aren't repeated and that's why I prefer freeze panes. Now to turn off freeze panes on the view tab of the ribbon, freeze panes, unfreeze panes and they're removed. Split panes requires you to specify where you want the split inserted by selecting the cell below and to the right of the split location. For example, I'll select cell E8 and again on the view tab we have split. And you can see where the split is based on these grey horizontal and vertical lines in the worksheet. Now you can adjust the split location with your mouse, hovering it until you get the double headed arrow, left click and drag. And likewise for the vertical, left click and drag. And to remove the split, again on the view tab of the ribbon you can deselect split. Or you can remove one split at a time. So I can double click the vertical and now I just have horizontal split panes. Double click this one again. Or if we put it back in you can remove both of them at the same time by positioning your mouse at the cross section and double click. So now you know the difference between freeze and split panes. I hope I see far fewer files with split panes. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more. And why not share it with your friends who might also find it useful. Thanks for watching.